<laughs> well, aren't I a dunce? Turns out I don't need to do four videos, which I've done one off. I only need to do three videos, which I've done one off. So I took the evening off. <laughs> but it still means I've got to do two more videos today. And I might do video 300 this evening to get it uploaded, like, in the early hours of the morning for UK time. Or should I wait till uploading in the morning? I'll do it in the morning, because uh, people in America and stuff... Then you'd probably still get it on the 4th instead of the 5th. So, no, nah, I'll, I'll wait. It's fine. Uh, Knockoff time. Right, okay. This is one I've been waiting a while for. And I teased in my last knockoff video, which was the shapeshifter lockdown thing. Which is not good. But let's hope this one is better. This is... Well, uh, I had them here. Where did I put them? Uh, there, right, okay. The only reason I know what this is is because they sent the instructions. And it's a deformation uh, robot thing. Yeah. You know, like uh, my Megatron. This guy. Yeah, it's same thing as him. So, it should be pretty decent. Um, the only issue I've got with it so far is that these windows seem to fold out. I don't know if I need to put a hairdryer on them and just get them to curl in slightly. If they just curled in ever so slightly, like to there, it'd be perfect. Like, genuinely, really good. But, Celevi, such is life. And something that's slightly unique, I don't know if you can tell from the colour. Let's see if we can get the sheen. Metal. No, I think that's metal as well. It's just because the tyres under it. Metal. Plastic. So this whole piece is metal. Die cast. No idea why, but they did, and I appreciate it. And this, due to the symbol, let's see if we can actually zoom in on that. This is actually a Lamborghini. Is it the Prancing Bull or whatever it is? Yeah, this one actually is a Lamborghini, so fair play. Look at the stylings and all the rest of it. I mean, oh, beautiful, 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 beautiful. Uh, size comparison. I didn't really think this one through. I actually set up for my next video and they went, oh yeah, sorry, I've got to review that, haven't I? Uh, so, uh, <coughs> Tanks Return Voyager Megatron. And just because I happen to have it handy today, uh, Beast Machines Voyager, no, Beast Machines, uh, Beast Hunters Voyager after Prime. Shut up. Dog shouting at me. Um, I don't know why I just felt like messing with him today, so I'll just put him over there. Actually, no one, I'll put him down here because I put Megs over there because he needs to get transformed and shoved back in the corner. Anyway. So he's quite a nice, quite a nice car mode indeed. Quite nice. I mean, you could complain that the alloys aren't silver, but frankly, I do really like the fact that everything's black and sleek. I mean, this is translucent; you can see through it, but the fact that everything's dark, it's it's quite nice. I quite like that. Uh, it does come with accessories, which is this, and that is to say, the big dopey gun. And the spare head. Now the spare head originally was missing this eyepiece. And I've had to very badly, and I do mean very badly, let's see if we can get some zoom on this. Nope, let's try that again. Come on, behave. I've had to very badly make my own lens for it because it was missing. And that lens is made out of blue tack, you know, the stuff you use to stick up posters and stuff. It's that gone all over with glue and a light sort of greenish um, Gundam marker. It's quite green. It might not be showing up in this light, but it is quite green. It's just not perfect, but hey, it's better than there being a giant hole where the eye's supposed to be. Sort of. Uh, and this thing is a friction pull back and fire go. Uh, fair enough. And this originally wouldn't fit in there. I had to uh, 
Just carve away a little niche in. Don't know if you can see at all. But just inside there, I had to carve it away slightly, and now this will fit. <clears throat> it takes some doing, but it does fit. And this, I believe, like the deluxe, again, I never got that, can just sit there. And now he's got a pointing up into the sky gun. Isn't that neat? Zoom. Um, yeah, that's... that's. So let's transform it. Have you seen my uh, last night hot rod review? Because if you have, uh, I should be ugly. I should be wretched. No. Um... Right, transform it. Let's turn it off. Hey, look, there it is. So, what's going on there? What's that? Oh, is that a tab? Oh, all right, okay. Whoops. Uh, push that out of the way. And fold it down. Um, this looks like a tab that was supposed to hold these two pieces together, but it snapped off. So I'll tidy that up and it doesn't really matter, it should hold anyway. I think I tried to get them to stick together and it just, yeah, it's, it's fine, doesn't need it. So you get this back bumper piece, get it out, get it loose, and double hinge, fold over there. Same on this side, double hinge over there. And I'm going to have to bring this up because this is going to get big. Okay. Now, we need to get the side pieces loose. Uh, there is a peg in a hole. I'm not sure if the original had that. I don't know. It seems a bit weird, but it might have done. Get that loose and bring them on. Ball joint hinge. Bring them down just to give you a bit of clearance. Okay. And now we need to separate this middle piece from the two side sections. And uh, can be difficult, although this one's just already fallen apart. Can be difficult, doesn't always have to be. Okay, fair enough. These have just come loose, like a dream. And uh, while we're at it, we're going to get these side pieces and the windscreen loose from this top piece. Okay, come on. Come on. There we go. Uh, hinge it all the way up on this big double hinge apparatus. And it just sort of goes there on the back, sadly, but fine. Is it supposed to go a bit flusher than that? Doesn't look like it. Okay, so then we've got all this stuff. Uh, this is all that, which is basically just fallen down and untabbed itself. Whatever. So we'll get that, turn it around on said hinge. Turn the head around, and we might as well do the legs over here. They would originally have been tabbed together, but they don't tab super well. Maybe it's just because it's a knockoff, maybe the original wasn't great. It doesn't matter, it's mainly just for lining it up for the vehicle mode. They don't desperately have to hold together. Rotate, fuzz up, rotate, fuzz up, and kind of hollow, but nowhere near as bad as the uh, knockoff. Okay, so we got this bit. Peg. Hole. Uh, tab. Slot. Okay. So, that goes there-ish. Just about. And... go. Okay, we're 99% of the way there, I think. So we just need to fold these up. Uh, these are on a ball joint. I'm not sure if the original was. Are they on a ball joint or a hinge? No, they are on a hinge. They just seem quite loose. Okay. Might have to tighten that screw up. And then get the arm loose. Rotate it. Arm loose. Rotate it. And that Body tabs come loose. Might have to tighten that a bit. Put a bit of glue on it just so it's a bit tighter. And just adjust a little bit. Yeah, there we go. That's it. Let's see if we can adjust this light so you actually see it. And he's a bit of a monster. I mean, this bit's a bit 
loose. Uh, these shoulders were really loose, the ball joints. Uh, I had to tighten those up. But other than that, he's quite nice. Yeah. All the articulation there, there's a bend, there's a toe, no waist. Head is quite wibbly, but you know. Should we have a look at the head? Because this is the default one that isn't ruined. That's quite nice. I don't remember his head being that silver. Uh, I haven't watched that film for a long time though, so I could be wrong. But no, he looks alright. Doesn't look bad at all. Nice green eyes. That's cool. And yeah, there's just a lot of detail. He he looks quite good. Yeah, not bad. So you can get the gun, and it's got that big tab in the middle there. And let me just sort this out. He's got a tab in the uh, hole in the top of his head, and you can look that in there. And now his head is a gun, which is probably the most derpy and uninteresting thing that Lockdown did in the entire film. <sighs> Not really a fan of that. But we have got a spare head. Now, I've never done this before, but shall we swap them? Let's swap them. So I'm going to turn this around so we can get to the screw. And get this handy dandy screwdriver. Yeah, handy dandy screwdriver that I happen to have lying around. And undo this screw. Ooh. Right, undo it enough to take it off. Screw it back together so it doesn't fall apart. Go over there. Get this one. Titan AE, not a bad film. Uh, what? Okay, never seen this before. Push that back peg in again. It doesn't hold amazingly well, sadly. Kind of wish it did. It needs to be slightly longer, don't know. Why isn't that going? Yeah. I'll turn the head around. Uh, it's all right. Yeah, then, mm, no, mm, that peg doesn't want to play ball now, does it? Oh, well. he looks okay. Probably look better with. I'm guessing it was a clear plastic bit instead of what I did, but you know, looks all right. And that head feels a lot tighter, a lot tighter. The other one was so loose. Ugh. Maybe I just need to tighten the inside of that with a bit of glue. Now he feels right. He feels quite nice. So yeah, he, he's quite neat. He is. He is actually quite neat. Um... Oh come on, peg in the back. You've never been like this before. Come on. Hmm. So what we're going to do for now, just for storage, is we're going to get the separate head. Might tighten that off a bit. So I don't... What's going on there? Why isn't it all lined up? What have I done to this? Yeah. Well that ain't good is it? Now we'll fix it later. For now we're just going to shove it in there. You know, the, the tab, just stick it in there so we don't lose it. It'll do. And you can even put this in his hand. Because that's not utterly ridiculous at all, is it? And size comparison for this mode. The same line. Last night, Voyager Megatron. And, uh, really, I mean... I like him, he's fine, you know, it's a decent representation of the character, you know, fine. But just look at that. That is gorgeous. I mean, I did panel line it, 
So that's why some of these panels, you know, all the, the creases and stuff might be standing out a lot more, but yeah, I, I, he's fine, he's quite nice, but that's a work of art. So at least now if he turned up in another film and Megatron still looked like this, he could give him a right roll, kick it, and I've got the figures for it now. Eh. Oh well, I think we've gone on too long. Uh, I'm going to have to try and source out that head and sort take that one off because eh, at least it's there. I have got it. So, I should be ugly, I should be wretched, and I shall see all of you in the next one. Laters! Uh.